if you really don't know me, my name is Aquarius Alia. And yeah, thank you all for my new subscribers and stuff like that because I have 107. Never thought I would have saw that, but okay, let's get into it. So this hair that I'm rocking, I made it myself. It is a wig that I made. You guys know I'm a wig maker. For those who don't know, I'm a wig maker. And so, to get in with this hair, I bought this hair from a beauty supply and the brand is called Aria. I'll try and like insert a picture of what the hair looks like. So the hair is, it says it's 100% synthetic hair, which is really cool. And but it says it's 100 percent synthetic hair but i don't believe it because when i tried to uh, fly iron it on the highest setting it okay it didn't burn but like you could tell like something was going on like so it, it started to like i don't know like it started to leave a dent and you can just feel like well i cut it anyway but I don't think it's 100% human hair for sure. I think it's some mixed. I think it's mixed because the heat can't. It can't handle the heat 100%. So, so and that's that part. It doesn't really take heat that well. Like when I try and bump it, it takes like forever for me to really bump it, like, and it doesn't stay bumped. But it's whatever. And then, so as far as the density. I bought three packs and I mainly used two for the actual wig itself and then I used like a full pack for the closure or whatever and did y'all just hear my stomach? Okay, so I would say the density is about one, in between 130 to 150%. It's really thick, like I even took some tracks out because it was too thick and when I, when I wear bobs, I don't like my bobs to be too thick. So that's as far as the hair, the density. I told you guys I constructed this unit myself. Now, time to get into the closure. So, okay, so when I first made the wig, I was wearing it for like four days and then everything was fine, everything was good. But then I'm like, okay, like what if I try and do something and it comes off because I didn't secure it down or anything. So I ended up putting an elastic band. I, I sewed it on from right here to the back but y'all that was the worst mistake I could have ever did because it made it look so lumpy right here like I don't know if you guys can tell like when I put my head back right here it's so lumpy now and I took the bands out I took it off so I don't understand why it's still lumpy right there so I'm gonna have to go in the wig and see what I did wrong right there so yeah that was an epic fail for the elastic band and okay back to the closure so when i tell you i literally cut each track put some glue and glued the pieces like yes i did that like because this when i bought this hair it, it wasn't like a pad where you have like a 20 inch 18 inch 60 inch and then it comes like a little closure no it wasn't like that it was just individual packages so I have to think fast, like, okay, I really want blue hair, but there's no closure, there's no front, so what can I do? So, glue, like, I just glued it, or whatever, and then I put some finishing powder so that the parts can look a little natural, and yeah, so this is how it ended up coming out. I cut the bob, and then I tried to bump it, but I don't know, like, this hair, I, I don't know if it's too thick to where it's not going to bump or my fly iron because my fly iron gets pretty hot so i don't know what's up with this but it's still cute the wig made me the wig made me i made the wig in like 45 minutes the closure took me like an hour because this is my first time doing a closure like this and i wanted to make sure that everything was popping the way it needs to be popping and i think i did such a good job i love how the hair starts off black and then it's like an aqua blue and then it goes down to a sky blue or a baby blue. I don't know if you guys can see the two different blues. So yeah, as far as shedding, the hair doesn't really shed 
but when it does shed, it's because of the the closure that I made. Because I literally like when I shoot, like okay, look, this. Let's just say this is a a trap, right? Obviously, this is a trap. I I folded it in half, cut it, and then like pasted it on here. So um, you guys will see that in the video on how I actually made the wig. So. Yeah, and I can take her off, take and put her back on. She's, I don't have any clips in her or anything like that. So I take her off at night because I don't like to sleep in her. What else? So like I was saying, the the hair doesn't really shed, but if it does shed, it's because of the frontal. Because like I said, I made it and I had to cut the track. But I will say like the hair, it it doesn't tangle, but it tangles like. More so in the back, but it doesn't tangle bad, and it doesn't tangle to where you need to be brushing your hair out like every hour, or it doesn't tangle to where when you brush it, hella hair comes out. It's not like that. So I definitely think that this hair is really good quality. This is not actual bundled hair. You guys will see that. So um, yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased how this this unit came out I've gotten so many compliments on the blue and I was just on my aquamarine vibes like everybody I don't know if you guys know this but I've always wanted to be a mermaid so when I saw this hair I'm like mermaid vibes aquamarine vibes like I had to do it I had to do it so if you guys like this and you guys want to see me do more colors or anything like that then just let me know dm me um snapchat me and i definitely will respond or talk to me on twitter yeah i love doing colors so just let me know if you guys want to see more so thank you all for watching i will catch you guys in my next one bye <laughs> To the land where the gate closed, baby. This is the same. They say can't trigger.